morning everybody today is wednesday december 27th and i came up to the laundromat to do some laundry and look who i ran into oh here we have deborah dickinson Hi, one of everybody. my favorite youtubers she is actually one of my inspirations i started following her uh, about a year and a half ago when i um was just moving into my van so deborah tell us how you got started in this life I got started in this life because I have a traumatic brain injury and all of my other living arrangements and circumstances, uh, it was boiling down to assisted living and I fought that tooth and nail and was actually living in a tent when uh, my disability kicked in and my friends all told me if there ever was a time, actually my trustee told me if there ever was a time to do a bucket list, it's now and this lifestyle was born again. Really? Yeah. Wow. So you live in a van now? I do. Okay, tell us about your van. It, I call her Fancy Free, Fancy. and uh, I am so blessed and so grateful to have been able to do upgrades on her, like uh, uh, solar panels on top and a refrigerator last year, thanks to the goodness of people's hearts. And that kept me on the road this year, and because they'd gotten to where I couldn't stay out here if that hadn't have happened and she is and make sure I get this right a I, I'm not gonna get it right a one-ton cargo van I was gonna tell you what the engine and everything is and I I can't remember all that but she's a one-ton cargo van at Ford um, what year is it oh five <laughs> 2000 really yeah it looks so much newer than that. Thank you. I try to take real good care of her because she's my life. And you have barn doors, which I'm totally jealous about. Yes, I love them. I open them up and the ones in the back and hang screens and I'm all set. So how long have you been living in it now? How long have you had your van? I, uh, I bought my van in September of 2015 and have been in her full time since October 8th. Oh, uh, uh, 2015. Okay, okay. Yeah. And um, do you work? I uh, am on disability. I worked uh, all my life. I was a career person in for the state of Texas in Austin. And when my diagnosis and disability kicked in, I kept trying. I wouldn't go on disability regardless of what my doctor said. And kept trying and kept trying. And the jobs just kept dwindling that I could do and, and I went everything from teaching to being a ranger at a state park to office work to cleaning houses and when you can't even clean houses anymore it's a, it's a sad, it, it, I don't want to say it was a sad decline, it felt like that at the time. Today I just feel really blessed. Awesome. Um. This is so kind of you, Carolyn, because you've been an inspiration for me ever since we sat here at the laundromat last year, and it's so good to see you today. Yeah, we met here at the laundromat last year. I haven't seen her since then, and it was she was sitting in the exact same spot as she was last year when I walked Some in. Some things never change. <laughs> so do you plan on continuing this lifestyle? Uh, it, my next step will be assisted living, so I have to. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. That's okay. People get it. I wasn't it. expecting that question. Uh, you can ask me anything. You know what? I'm People ask me that all the time. What yeah. are your long-term plans? My long-term plans are I don't have any long-term plans. Yeah. Right now, I'm living life and just like you. Are you going to the RTR? I probably, um, I, I told Bob I, of course, want to, to support him, but I, I probably won't be able to because of the crowds and, and the noise. I have to, I have to be pretty careful health-wise. Right. You know. Can you, do you want to tell us what happened to, how did you get your injury? Um, somebody's coming up and waving. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We've been watching you from Pennsylvania. Oh, oh great. Oh, Pennsylvania, where they just got 62. Point nine inches of snow. Yeah, Did you insane. say 62.9 inches? Yes, they had to call in the National Guard. Oh my goodness. Insane. Hi. Oh, I know. 
Months and months and months. Well, well actually, since you started. Oh, we appreciate that. Thank you. So we're going to do our laundry now. We're staying on the other side of the river. Staying over in Blythe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too. Oh, really? Yeah. We're yeah. in Blythe. Um, oh, no, not Blythe. What am I saying? No. Ehrenberg. Okay. Duh. We know where you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> we're right across the river. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really camera. That's a good way to make this like this. Do you want well. to be on camera? <laughs> yeah, you have to so. get here really early. Well, it was nice meeting you. Bye, okay. guys. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So, um, how did you sustain your entry? Well, I I have shared that on my on my channel, and it was. Um, and, I, and I'm really careful because people, some people don't understand. And I uh, was beaten by a foster son, but he had Down syndrome. And so he's off limits to people to, to I, had a, I have people that say, oh, you should have put him in jail and everything. I spent every dime I had to get him out of jail after the incident and to get him set up in long-term care and everything. I was in the process of adopting him and my world blew up with that. And then fast forward 10 years, and I was in a coma, and it, it took a year and a half. I was in a wheelchair, everything. And then you fast forward 10 years later, and that's when I started having episodes, and they found out that scar tissue has built up. So oh it's been a, it's been a long journey, and um, but it I just just know that it wasn't his fault. It was he was there was things going on in his life and he just reacted and I was caught in the wrong place at the wrong time and couldn't get away. Well, uh, yeah. But it wasn't his fault. No. He was my son and he's off limits to right. bashing him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember that, people. Please don't talk about that. I didn't know that, so... No, um, I don't mind talking about the incident. I just don't want people bashing him. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. So, are you planning to stay in the um, Arizona area for the whole uh, winter? I, you know, I kind of, like we do as nomads, I come and I go. We, right. We, we come and we go. That's what we do, right, Carolyn? Yeah, yeah. We never, <laughs> never, ever have plans. Yeah, I keep, I keep, I keep that in Jello. I'm, I'm here now, but I'm headed tomorrow to see my friends Scott and Yoli, and uh, Bob did a video with them. Some, some people might know them, but I'm headed to California tomorrow to see them. And then I'll come back for the New Year's and spend with friends here. And i that's as much as I know today. There you go. <laughs> okay, tell us your channel name. It's under my name, Deborah Dickinson. I, I th and it's also, no, I, it's under Deborah Dickinson on Facebook. It's I think it's TBI Van Girl, but it's uh, just, just okay. me. Okay, and that's D-E-B-R-A uh -huh. Dickinson. D-I-C. K I N S O N. There you go. You're so sweet, Carolyn. Thank, thank you. Thank you.